In honor of Women's History Month, the U.S. Consulate General has urged media outlets in Nigeria to reject interviews and panels that feature only men. Female journalists gathered at the American Corner in Lagos to share their experiences and challenges in order to canvas ways to encourage and involve more women in journalism. Here in this hall is the gathering of renowned journalists from different media outlets in Nigeria. Public Affairs Officer, U.S. Consulate General Lagos Stephen Ibili stated that the U.S. government believes there is great role the media plays in maintaining democracy with women's involvement and participation. And we believe women should be at the forefront as journalists, managing directors, and owners. The unfortunate reality is that despite the gains recorded over the years globally, in terms of gender parity, women journalists still face challenges, whether it's unfair assignments, harassment, or issues with personal safety. The distinguished panelists discussed how they successfully navigate their careers. It also had its advantages for me being the only woman at the time, but I think it's a huge failure on my part and a huge failure on the part of the people who had the sports industry that in 2022, we're still talking about Chisom being one of the few, it needs to change. So it's, it's more pressure on me to now begin to see that there's no success for me if I look behind and I haven't dragged right. enough people. I actually remember my mom calling me that day and saying, if you don't leave the to lucky toll gate, I'm going to disown you. <laughs> so it was a very interesting place to be because now this is my, my, my mom, my family, someone I care about and my job. So it was, it was a very interesting place to be. And like you say, as a woman, even more so because people just assume that um, we can't handle ourselves in, in, in certain kind of situations. The panelists pointed ways some of the challenges journalists face can be controlled. Button on Twitter for me is a mute button. It's, it's amazing. You don't even have to engage with them. You don't see their comments. You don't, you know, but you see it initially and after you mute them, you know. But it, it is harmful, and I have to take social media breaks. So if you're experiencing that, please take breaks. Media executives should know that it is not luxury. It's a priority. Yeah. It's a need you know, to make counseling therapy to be yeah. available. About the upcoming 2023 general elections, Ibeli believes it's time to take the bull by the horn by creating more space for women. When convening political debates, it is our fervent wish that media houses will say no to interview panels that feature only men and include women subject matter experts as well. They also encourage the mass communication students in the hall to be focused as they pursue a career for themselves in journalism. Jacinta Ubiuku, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.